Hi everyone and welcome back to the Elusive Panda. Around this time of year, our pets can get the holiday blues. Have you noticed your doggo acting listless or depressed? Has your paparazzi exhibited decreased zeal for life? Well, let's get them back in the spirit with their very own shoot. Let's turn your dog into a rain dog. There you are. Looking good. <laughs> good. Good work, point. Good girl. Come here. Come. I hope you had an easier time with your subject than I did, but I did end up getting this photo. This is a good candidate. We've got room for some rain dog antlers. And let's turn this into a snowy Christmas scene. The first thing I'll do is lower the exposure a little bit and the image is kind of bright. So let's bring that exposure down about one stop. Open the image. Here we are. The first thing we'll do is add some antlers. I've gone to Google Images and typed in reindeer. I found this image, copy it, Paste it right in. We'll turn the opacity down so we can see where things are. And let's try to put those antlers just on top of our dog. We need to mask off the rest of this image so just the antlers are left over. A really nice tool is the subject selection tool and it's done a nice job of just picking out the antlers from the sky. So I'll start with that and make a layer mask. And then I'll just do some adjustments to this layer mask to get rid of the things that I don't want. We can make it blend a little bit better with some contrast and some hue adjustments. I'll go to contrast and I'll decrease the brightness. Let's make this a clipping mask. We'll decrease the brightness and maybe increase the contrast just a little bit. It's still looking a little bit vivid, so let's also do a hue saturation, make that clipping as well. And I'll turn the saturation down some on the antlers and turn the lightness down just a little bit. Those blend in a lot better. Let's cool down the scene with a lookup table. Let's add a moonlight lookup table and set that layer to soft light. Everything's taken on a blue color. It's added a little bit of contrast, which is nice. And let's also increase the blues and the shadows by adding a curves adjustment and bringing up that blue curves and the shadows. And I'll bring it up some in the middle too. Here's some snow. I also got this off of Google Images. We'll copy this and paste it right on top of our image. Everything disappeared. We can fix that really easily by changing this to the screen mode. On the screen mode, only the light stuff shows through, which is the snow. What's iconic about a reindeer? A red nose. So we need to add a red nose to our rain dog. And we can do that with another hue saturation layer. In this layer, we will colorize. And by colorize, we're turning everything a certain color. And this will be red. We'll make the saturation pretty high, bring up the lightness so it's a little bit lighter. And this is going to be the red color of our nose. We don't want the entire image to be red, so let's invert that layer mask. It's all black, and then I'll just paint back in the places that I want on the nose. We can make it look more convincing 
by changing that layer so that it doesn't affect the shadows. So we're going to change the blend if so that we leave in some of the darker colors of the nose. There, there it is. How about a little bit of glow around that nose? Clone stamp the entire thing, and then I'm going to select just that nose, copy and paste that from our new layer. I'm going to add an outer glow. Let's emphasize our reindeer a little bit more with a gradient mask on the layer. Let's put a gradient overlay on top of our rain dog. And that's giving us a nice vignetting around the edge of the scene. On top of everything we've just done, I'm going to add a gradient map. And a gradient map changes all the tones to a specific range of color. I'll choose a blue gradient map, set it to soft light, and now everything's looking really icy and cold. I don't think I want this gradient map to entirely affect our dog. Let's brush it out of our dog so our dog still looks, has a nice warm color. Okay, check that out. That looks nice. If you're gonna put this on Instagram, you could crop it, isolate your subject a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. Let's go back and see all the things we did. Here's the very original layer, antlers. Change the color of the antlers a little bit. Add a lookup table. Add some blue to the overall scene with the curves adjustment. We threw our snow on there. Then we made a nice red nose. We threw a gradient on there. There's a glow from the layer effect. Finally, we threw this gradient map to really make everything frosty and cool. There it is, that's my dog, Piroshka. That's a genuine Corgi rain dog. I hope you like that, and I hope you get to try this on your own dog if you can get them to stay still for a photo. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel, The Elusive Panda. Happy holidays to you and your dogs and your pets. Cats are okay too.